Hey you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 3 as the USA, and uh, I am now on the uh, the 64-bit enabled patch for Hearts of Iron 3, which I didn't realize uh, didn't appear to come with the Steam version, and it seems to have eliminated a lot of that lag that I was getting when zoomed really far out. Look at that, just getting a slightly different of the version of the EXE, and it's there. Just Google Hearts of Iron 3 64-bit. Um, and uh, apparently it will make a big difference. I'm actually not sure why, because the big thing with the 64-bit enabled executable is that it can address more than 3 gigs of RAM on Windows. And as far as I can tell, Hearts of Iron wasn't coming close to using that much memory, but uh, it did something, on, at least on my computer. Um, and I know that not everyone gets that sort of weird lag behavior. I think it's just... Um, maybe certain computers, certain setups, but whatever it is, it seems to have improved things. So hopefully, it's going to keep doing that. Anywho... We are still just basically trying to irritate the Germans over here. Um, almost certainly we're going to lose control over Saraton here because they can't attack us from four provinces. But it wouldn't surprise me if we can hold on to Scherburg, Scherburg or I don't know how you pronounce that one, over here. Um, we, we might be able to hold on to it. They can only attack from two provinces. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we are retreating with the transports. Also, our battleships really have to um, get themselves docked because they have taken way too much damage. <sighs> I really want to keep the uh, the bombardment bonus over here, but it's so risky. How's our, our planes? Let's see over here. We've got a group of seven. Did I really do that that way? And then, oh, you're all damaged. That's what's going on, right? Yeah, although you're mostly better. Um, let's go and do something. Now, I'm wondering, instead of a like a full-time air superiority, if it might make more sense to um, put them on intercept? Right, because on intercept, they'll just fly out when they see someone, as opposed to just always being around. I don't know, I think it probably makes a fair amount of sense. We're going to send them back over there again. Um, and we'll have them do some, some air superiority, I guess. Um, just fly during the day, actually. You can rest at night, because at night we don't really do as much work. And with the area, can we include, like, the Western English Channel? Is that a possibility, and does that cover anything? Oh, it does. It covers some more sea zones. That's not really what I want to do. Um, I want to do more like a cone. There we go. Starting from here to there. Run that air superiority for at least a month, only during the day, that's fine. And then our second wing over here, yeah, you're pretty damaged, but I'm going to give you um, the reserve job, so um, I think this is the way it works, so that you should, f anyone running operations out of here, you should reserve or replenish them. I think is the way it is, unless I have to send you to a certain area. And then you replenish that. But I thought it was to the base. Shoot, I should have double-checked the documentation on it to remember which way it goes. Anyway, we've got that. Um, how is the uh, the Pacific going on here? Um, we still have a few destroyers off our coast and submarines as well. Uh, some people said that maybe... And finally, um, this, I'm recording this not quite up to date with all the YouTube because um, I still have some things in the queue that haven't gone live yet. Uh, but this is actually the first video because of the recording issues and certain technical issues at this end. This is actually the first video where I'm able to start responding to a few of the comments. And some people have said um, there's sort of a sweet spot for submarines at around three to a pack. Um, I'm too lazy to actually check to see if they're just lying to me or not. But, you know, that sounds right. So let's go ahead and do a wee bit of that. Um, it'd be really nice if we could have subs hunting down other subs, but I don't actually have confidence in um, in our ability to do that, especially since we have a bit older subs. I don't know how many U-boats are going on over there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to... What bases do we have left here anymore? I guess we've got the base out in the Philippines. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rebase you. It's a long, long trip. We're going to rebase you all the way over here, and you can help the, uh, the sort of blockade of Japan, which I think is going to be one of our routes to victory. So you'll have to bear with me a moment here as I figure out where all my ships are, because this is a new day, and I don't remember where things have been left off. I still have these two stupid battleships with no stupid um, escort support. We've got our landing ships there. We've got some CAGs getting ready to go. A few more landing ships, and there we go. We are getting some... Um, some light cruisers done soon. Some people have said, um, you know, build a bunch of destroyers to help hunt down some of these subs and things like that. Yeah, the problem is, like, I'm already, I am, like, legitimately overdoing it on the tech tree. Also, apparently, and I didn't realize this, there is... 
Yeah, these are not mutually exclusive, as far as I can tell. Bomb targeting focus. Oh, bomber target selection, bomber fighter selection. So these fight for each other? Is that the way it works? I just assumed they gave you a bonus to, you know, when you were targeting this. But does this make it more likely that you'll target fighters, and this makes it more likely that you'll target bombers? In which case, yeah, that's pretty dumb that you wouldn't want to get both. But... Hard to tell exactly what that stat means. I'll have to double check the docs again um, and see what that is. But yeah, if they're fighting, maybe I'll just leave them off. In any case, I don't know how much more research is going to be uh, done over there. Anyway, um, attack, CAS, nav guys, the bomber. Yeah, see, fitting in the destroyer stuff. I mean, they're not that far behind. It wouldn't be that hard to catch up, but. Isotope separation is still good. The battleship upgrades are still good. Maybe after we're done this um, this set of um, of capital upgrades, you know, we might stop after that. That's a possibility. I don't know. Um, and yeah, hold off on the anti-tank weapons. We've got marines coming in. All right, overall not too too bad. Okay, so yeah, let me uh, make another pass here. The subs Atlantics, those are fine. Um, then we've got the guys moving around, the 10th Navy. Oh, these battleships, which are providing bombardment duty over here. I'll have to keep babysitting you. Um, who is this? The 10th Navy? No, I'm going to have to remember that. Um, this is the Star, 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 German. I spell Germany. Germany Coast. Star, Star, Star. There. So now i got to remember these guys and move them in port before they get bombed to death, because that would be pretty bad. All right, there's my two carriers there that need those CAGs. Um, we've got a light cruiser going out to reinforce somewhere, which is good. You've got, like... Okay, this one actually does have a destroyer. One battleship with one destroyer. That's not much of a navy, though. When the other uh, light groups get there, we'll be a little bit better. All right. You are parked out here. You're in intercept duty, which is fine. Intercept duty, which is fine. Uh, you're camping out over here. Some people have said I really shouldn't be leaving when I detach my damage ships to send them back. Um, that's a bad sign, and maybe it's a sign that the AI is not working too well. But the thing is, I do have them pretty heavily limited. Now, they are bombing me. But hopefully they're using up some of their CAGs. I don't know. We might want to go and retreat them back home. Then who's over here? You guys are actually in pretty good shape here. Um, too many capital ships, not enough screens. Story of my freaking life. All right, let's go back over there. Rebase, get some repairs, and try to reorganize after that. All right, let's bring it up to speed three. Hey, it's uh, Christmas Eve, December 24th. I didn't realize that. Uh-huh. Oh, man, it's so nice to be able to zoom out and pan a little bit better. Um... Ooh, yeah, they are attacking us with a little bit more of heavy stuff. Planes are getting wrecked. Yeah, just, uh, just rebase. Cancel your mission. Gage the hostile Navy. Fighting the Nagara. Uh, oh, that might have been destroyed. I'm not sure if it ran away. I turned off that the stupid, like, naval battle message because it kept saying, you've won a battle, you've lost a battle, you've won a battle, you've lost a battle, you've won a battle. And, like, I, I don't know why it's spamming that stuff, but as the problem is, it doesn't actually tell me any time a ship got destroyed. Like, that's all I care about. Um, oh, Marines. Okay. Marines, we are going to be trying to take back some islands over here, buddy boys. Um, let's go and plop you down in San Diego. Um, transport fleet is there. Good. We are... Oh, however, we are waiting for the... Well, I suppose we could um, get the transport fleets out there. Um, we could transport you out to, to Midway. You don't need to use the landing crafts for that. I don't know, like, if it matters, if I can just move people with landing crafts or what. I'm not sure. Uh, you guys, get grouped up, and then we'll make a new comp over here. A couple of healthy carriers... And then five heavy cruisers, and then... Oop, not submarine. No, go away. I'll just try to bring up to 12 total ships. There we are. And you can go and... Um, yeah, just move there. Move and stand there aggressively. 
keep these guys pinned. It'll also be nice to keep an idea of how many guys they have around there. Oh, that was a transport. I might have just pulled some guys out. We'll see how it goes. Fleet, eh, relatively decent, but we've got a relatively decent fleet as well. So, all right. Mostly just waiting for things to continue to finish. Our production's pretty good. Maybe, you know, I, I, I don't know. I always get that thing of like, is now the time to stop producing any industrial capacity? Or do we really want to just keep building it throughout the war? I don't know. I really do feel a little bit desperate for more stuff. That, I believe, is a light cruiser, my friends. So I'm going to deploy you there, and then I'm going to redeploy you um, down to here. And then we'll actually be able to send out a half-decent fleet over in this area. Costa Rica, sure, I'll trade with you. That's fine. December 27th, go up to a speed of 4. Do -do -do. Hopefully these guys are being supplied. Yeah, they're being supplied okay, actually. Surprisingly okay. What do we have now? Another light cruiser. Oh, beautiful. And yeah, this lack of lag is just so good. You go there. And then redeploy down here. Now, already, we can end up with a decent fleet. Um, something like a couple of battleships, three light cruisers. You don't have full organization, but that's not the end of the world. That, see, that's a perfectly acceptable fleet. And then I think these guys... I'm just going to have you patrolling the area around these islands. I don't want to lose any more of these islands. That's too important. Um, and then when that cruiser shows up... There we are. Merge you up. Balance. I would like an extra light ship just to feel a little bit safer, but it's not too bad. There's an island over here that's not really being babysat at all, which is certainly a little bit more worrisome, but hopefully it's okay. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I want to have a fleet that is properly patrolling around Hawaii. It's not a big fleet. Got the destroyer for some extra detection. Well, actually, I don't even know if that's true anymore. Um, light cruiser has no small warship radar. It says no, plus 9.6%, whatever that means. But the destroyer does. How come the cruisers don't have a radar? We last the ba lost the Battle of Karantan. Ah, yes, our troops got pushed back. How's my fleet? Okay, nearly dead. You go dock right now. Do not get bombed to death. <laughs> oh, those poor battleships. Okay, so everyone's going to pull back here. Where we do have a lot of dudes. Potentially too many. Where's my transport fleet? Right here. Yeah, down to nine ships. We lost a little bit here. And pretty damaged. I don't think I'm going to send them out to pick up anyone. Um, hopefully, we can just tank it out. There's stacking limits and things like that. So having just more people in one spot doesn't necessarily... Um, help that much, but they'll only be able to act from two places. I don't know. What's the train like? Planes. Yeah, that's too bad. Still, you know, we made our decision. Let's uh, let's deal with it. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. So Hawaii. Uh, that's a single troop landing ship with basically no stats. I don't see it here. Looks like it was trying to break off, but I suspect we probably killed it. We better have. And if we can't kill a single landing ship, I mean, good God. Okay, so you, your job will be to patrol the area. Um, be defensive. Don't take any crazy risks. You're not a huge fleet. There's going to be a lot of things that you can't beat. With my bigger fleets, I mean, I could also say that. Be defensive. Don't attack anything unless you've got the upper hand. But sort of there, it has to kind of do damage and project power. Um... I don't know. East Coast or West Coast? Do we want to send more people, more fighters, over here? We've got a decent amount, actually, at this point, assuming they get repaired. It's hopefully sufficient. So let's go ahead and deploy you here. And what do we have at the airport right now? Merge you, so we've got two wings of interceptors. I'm still probably being way too cavalier with my coast here. Watch Japan just land on me. Um, that'll be pretty devastating. Um, we have, we do have an airfield over here at this point, so we can go ahead and rebase. Finally did build that one at, uh, Midway. Um, we do have one, oh, we can combine you together. One, um, I don't know, flight of three wings? I don't, I don't know what you, uh, refer to this as. I mean, they still call it a wing. Is it just a bigger wing? Because this is a bombing wing, right? It's a wing of wings. It's a flock. It's a flock of birds, of planes. It's Superman. All right, you guys are okay. 
Now, there's AA and stuff like that. I wonder if we should, you know, send my CAGs. Oh, my CAGs are pretty damaged, actually. I have not been monitoring their status. Huh. The ships are okay, but the CAGs are not. How are the battleships doing? Okay, and things are coming together. Ah. I assume the CAGs get fixed on the ships. I mean, they are resting now. So I'm definitely not going to send them on any bombing runs over here. Okay, so yes, we officially lost that province, as expected. That doesn't actually have a ground fort. I don't know if it'd be worth building in any case. But we should be getting supplies across the um, across the water here. We've got a port and everything. That is, what, a transport? A single transport? Hopefully not anymore, it's not. I should expand this thing again. I mean, we're thinking, like, transports, which are, like, for convoys. That's a different message from... Um, those transports. Okay, they are attacking us with a single infantry division. We are defending with four currently, and we do have units in reserve. Hopefully these... That doesn't tell me, huh? Well, it's got combined arms... 15%? How do we have a combined arms bonus of 15% on one of these guys? What do we have going on here? Yeah, I'm confused. Should it not just be a 5%? Combined arms bonus? I mean, some of these have 5%. 15%. I can't click on this division to see the stats. Unless um, they're getting a bigger command combined arms bonus from uh, one of my leaders. I'm not sure. That could be a thing. Who's in poor supply, by the way? Yeah, you are. We really got to get some of these... Um, some of these ports back. I should probably stop screwing around in the Pacific. When do I get my landing ships? That's the question. April. Yeah, okay. All right, not Pacific. I was going to say, stop screwing around in the Philippines. Um, and instead, focus my efforts on retaking those missing islands. Um, and then, you know, extending my supply lines a bit. Here and especially, um, yeah, Guam. And get that chain going again. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull back with this one fleet. Get back to midway. It'll be nice if we can start doing some bombardment at some point. So how are they looking? Yeah, it doesn't, actually, I think they're maybe slightly more damaged. Let me go ahead and pull you guys back here, and maybe we'll just use um, maybe we'll just use battleships over here. They might be slightly more vulnerable to being bombarded from planes on the island. I don't see any in their airbase, so it might not be quite that bad. Yeah, we'll pull the whole fleet back, which does you know sort of open them up for a second here, but I think it's going to be fine. And yeah, let's just use 99% is okay. Battleship, battleship. And three cruisers as well. You know what? We're not really losing light ships over there, so I'm going to be okay with um, you know, one detection, with having even numbers. So you don't want to have insufficient screens, that's bad. But I don't think we need the extra screen unit anymore. Okay, you head back over there. Um, ba -da, da da Land combat, Sherberg, how's it going? Yay, we won! And we killed like, what, four to one roughly, somewhere around there? Excellent. They are bombing us, which is certainly a bit annoying. Um, how are our planes? Yeah, they're both far, far from perfect. Maybe I should send some more planes out there. Um, new troops. Ah, speaking of, there we go. It's got a fighter wing deployed here. And then we'll get you to rebase here. And we'll see what we can do. Ground attack. This place does have anti-air. I mean, we could invest in some more, but we'll probably just lose it. Uh, we've got SS troopers. These are what, commando units, right? Uh, coming in here. Good experience and everything. 104 attack. Defense modifier is only in the 70s. And we're getting bombarded. Okay, 99, 100, 93, and 92. It's, it's got to be your finest hour, guys. Uh, we're going to get you to do... Um, 
Air superiority, so you're always bouncing around. We could actually rebase you over here, but I think that would be dumb. Air, uh, air superiority for a month in just that one province. Um, just fly during the day. Can't do that much during the night. I mean, we do have radar and stuff and things and whatever, but that's there we go. Okay, so our these are our interceptors are attacking their um, is, what is this close air support? I mean, they're bombers, right? Production air wings, close air support, yeah. Which is to say, things that attack my uh, my ground units. That was a short little air battle over there. Nope. Oh, and there we go, pushing them back. Uh, not as great ratio. It's there. Oh, did the air battle kick back in? Or no, that's the old stat. Engage the enemy again. We have one of them that is pretty seriously uh, out of enthusiasm. I don't know. If I take you guys... We just replace the loss of air units running missions out of this air base. There we go. So if I say something like that... And keep it continuous. I guess that's fine. Okay, yeah, you're finding fleets. That's okay. Air battle. Things are happening. Oh, poop. Oh, no. We lost the air battle over there. We didn't actually lose the, um, the ground. All right, just rebase everyone. Man, oh man. Okay, it would be nice if they attack us again. It would be nice if our battleships were healthy enough to go out and provide a little bit of bombardment. I mean, they don't have any screen support, and the big question is mostly what's the anti-air guns like, right? I'll say 84%. See, I don't know what that means. Or aren't they? Is this part of the upgrade queue? Yeah, upgrades are basically just happening. Oh, we don't actually don't have enough things in our production queue. Really? Seems a little hard to believe. All right, so we've got a bunch more light ships still being built. Um, it's been a while since we built any infantry or, say, marines. No, we've got more marines in the queue. That's good. Um, what I want to do... It builds, like, some double brigade... Infantry for the West Coast. I, I'm feeling really uneasy about it. So we're going to do that. We're going to do like a parallel run, a couple of parallel runs like this. We'll have them issue as reserves because they're not going to be fighting right away. So it's okay that they only reinforce afterwards. That is totally, totally, totally fine. Um, we start strategic bombers. We've got a double queue of that, which is okay. Some extra escorts being made. Yeah, we've got a lot of transports. Do we start deploying tanks in these islands? I'm not sure. Are we going to want more of these amphibious ships? Well, at some point, sure. I think more than anything. I just want... I need more uh, light ships here. And the cruisers... The cruisers are at the tech level, right? No, they're not. They're about to finish. And people have pointed out, yeah, you do lock in your cruiser tech when you queue it up, so you don't want to do that. So, I guess if we're going to do anything, we may as well just make some more land units after this one. More marines? I mean, they are pretty... Oh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, marine over here. They are, you know, pretty expensive to build, but it's not a bad thing. Oh, I don't have enough manpower to queue up that much. I think that's why it grays out. Yeah, I have 127 in the pool. So if I do this, does it eat it right away? It does. Even though there's a serial run? That I did not realize. So like, because I've often thought like, why don't you just set like a serial run of like, so make one in parallel and like 99 serial. So you just like are building things throughout the war, so you keep bringing up the, your, your practical. Well, apparently it's going to tie up all that manpower from the start, just I guess to ensure that it can be completed. It seems a little odd. Hmm. All right, here comes the big attack. Let's go ahead and get my non-critically injured battleship out there. Still is far from great. Move out, and the air fleet, the air wing. The air flock. 
I think fighters get less of um. Oh yeah, but you have no organization, nor do you. I guess you guys did just go out. All right, we'll get a couple of token ships or planes going out here. Um, just run for a few days here, during the day. Do air superiority. Go go. So we'll probably yeah, we're getting bombarded over here. Oh, well, we're holding up our organization, and they're losing some pretty quickly. That's a good sign. We've actually got five units fighting. Oh, because there's a 15 width because of this. Yeah, okay. Again, we might lose this area, and it's sort of okay. Mostly, I'm just doing this. My poor infantry is sort of being thrown away just to, like, help the USSR not get completely crushed. Because I'm really, really, really worried about them. This number going down is good, because they are attacking us. We want this number to be dropping. Okay, we can watch it over there, but I'm pretty sure we are going to be all right. Okay. Um, how are we doing over here? We do have this. You're doing okay. You are. You're just making sure nothing's really getting in and out over there. We're going to go ahead and merge you up. Um, how are the CAGs? It's not particularly informative. The Yorktown ones are okay. The 5th Dwarf Air Wing one is good. The 7th Air Wing... 7th Air Wing is pretty beat up. Who's the 7th Air Wing on? How can I tell that? Actually, don't know. That's kind of dumb. Well, it's not the Yorktown, because you've got it named. Is it the Intrepid? The Intrepid has the fifth. Okay. So it's the Essex that's got the busted up one. I guess we'll do it the other way. Yorktown. And, oh yeah, and there's a Saratoga here too. Does one of these not have a CAG group then? So the Intrepid is fine, apparently. That's a pretty up-to-date aircraft carrier as well. Saratoga is a Lexington class. The rest are all Essex. It's another Lexington, Lexington, then Essex. Yorktown class, right. So that was the first one of that class, I guess, which is why it has the name. Ah, all right. Um, then we're going to go ahead and get six heavy cruisers in there. And some light cruisers. Okay. Maybe just patrol the area with these guys. That's good, but clearly we still need more CAGs. So who doesn't have one then? Is that the Saratoga? Actually, we got a lot of carriers over here. And only one one air wing. Really? Did I end up moving the carriers that were parked over here? That would make sense. Nope, we got two more carriers, another Yorktown, and the Enterprise. We need so many CAGs. Okay, let's make sure. Because we need apparently eight. Now, some of these may have been destroyed or something. We got four in the queue, so I'm just gonna make sure they're at the top. Although, well, everything's being built. We have enough production right now. Air wing, um, CAG, four, go. And I'm gonna bunch, bump you all up to the top. Takes nine IC per day, and takes a while to build these damn things. I don't know how we ended up with so few. Ah, hey, we won that big battle over there. Wonderful. Captain some people. Sure, we'll trade with you. Sure, we'll trade with you. That's fine. So we got these guys completely isolated. In fact, I'm very tempted um, to use regular transports to land here. They do have... They have three infantry. I could land... Um, I could land ten marines. I've got the marines. Ooh, nice. And what are you going to do? Run into here? Will we engage you again? No? Apparently not. Alright, I got the Marines. Plus some extra infantry. Now, I don't know if if you land with any infantry whatsoever, even in a separate division, does that screw up the Marine landing completely or what? Oh yeah, we've got to retake um, Atu Island over here. That would be one for us to check out. 
send some ships over there and see if there's actually anything there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and transport all these guys over to Midway. And we're going to start to consider that. I suppose I could move my ships out and let them maybe move more people out of here. Uh, it's got a ground fortification level. Just level one, but still. No cags in this group, but this group. Start damaging the units. Well, not right now. But yeah, and we do have the extra carriers. You know, one extra wing. Which is currently still damaged, but that's all right. Uh, what do we have here? Single light cruiser. What do we want to do with you? I'm going to move you out of here, actually. And have you jump in over here, because I think we still have a bit of a shortage of um, screens. we got our fleet going around Honolulu. Light cruiser main armament. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and uncue them. I'm going to wait until uh, a couple more finish, and then maybe queue up even more light cruisers. I mean, we need them, so I'm not super sad that we still had some in the queue. Um, even though they're not that progressed. And actually, now that I think about it, these... Oh no, they're not serial jobs. You know what? We invested some IC in some of these. I'll leave some of them in here. But yeah, we'll have to do that. Just wait a tick. Whoa, what is this? Is that a lone battleship? Did the, the fight already go away? We won, but... Oh! Now there's a real fight. We have aircraft carriers, they don't. Hopefully our aircraft carriers actually have CAGs. Looks like only one CAG winning, actually, even though we have two carriers over there. My CAGs must be getting destroyed or something. Okay, we won that battle. Great. So, yeah, that's on the Enterprise. So the Ranger doesn't have any CAGs. So what I should do is escort them. You have a Ranger. You're going to be solo for a second, but it's only for a second. You should be fine. You're going to deploy over here. Because our fleet's going in there anyway, so it's all going to be together. Engage an hostile navy. Really? What is this? Also, I forgot about my battleship. How's it doing? 43%. See, so yeah, I will have to pull back over here. Um, what is that symbol? I really wish there was a way. It's a battleship. Oh, so that other one we were fighting, I think, might have been a battle cruiser as opposed to a battleship. So this is a solo battleship. Be engaged by the Texas, which is currently in combat, and may actually die here. Yeah, we're down to 19%. I need the Texas to go. Okay, good. Whew. Nice to have the uh, the Brits help out over there. Okay, well, we're going to put a cut in here. I'm not saying they're not, they don't normally help out. I'm saying, like, wow, it's really nice that they're there. Um, to save my bacon there. I didn't realize there was a freaking, uh, there's still a German battleship going around over there. And I do have a naked battleship. Uh, but the idea is it gives a shore bombardment bonus if we do get attacked. Uh, yeah, we have so many carriers with no CAGs. See, because I, I had an excess of CAGs. And then, so I queued up a couple of battle, or, um, carriers without any. But then, I'm not sure what happened to everything else. Okay, you over here. You're going to... What are you going to do? I was thinking about escorting this carrier over to our other fleet, but, you know, what does it matter? I can always rebase um, airplanes over here anyway, right? So, why don't I just leave the Ranger separate, as opposed to weighing down this battle fleet? And we'll send uh, intercept duties over here. So, if you see anyone, jump in on them. Light cruiser engine, excellent. I think we only have one more light cruiser tech. 
Yeah, light cruiser armor, which can't be upgraded after the fact, so I definitely want to get this finished. But then I'll go ahead and queue up a bunch more light cruisers again. I don't think you need as much manpower for those. We're still in good shape, good supply. We're buzzing around, seeing what we can see. Light cruiser army. Hostile navy. Ooh, this is a sizable one. No, just a lot of numbers. But the Enterprise does actually have its CAGs. You're going to move in there, which is great. Oh! And my, my intercepting fleet is actually going for an intercept. It's actually working. So it'll presumably join in this battle here, the Battle of Scarborough Reef. Where the enemy ships are trying to retreat because they've got no organization. But I think we actually sank a crap ton of stuff. Don't I have another fleet here? No? Where'd you go? Oh, you're going there to do some hunting. And are you still on intercept duty? There was something else I had to do. I had to put a cut in this video is what I had to do. Battle of Mischief Reef. Bam. Oh, you're, are you catching the escaping ships? Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. A lot of defend, uh, destroyers are attacking. They've got a couple of destroyers. Uh, looks like a light cruiser here, and I think here. Still says destroyer division, but I think that's not the case. Um, and we actually do have a couple of battleships also, and they are firing. They're within range to fire. Fantastic. Oh, that'll probably do some damage. Okay, we're going to put a cut in here. Um, happy about the way things are going. A little... <laughs> Wow, we almost lost those battleships, but hopefully everything will be groovy. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.